All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, am I live? Am I live? Yeah, I think I'm live. All right, let's do this. Um, okay, I'm live. So here's my reference photo today. It's an elk, I believe. It's an elk. Um, so let's get going. No, I'm late. Sorry, folks. So let's try to let's try to catch up here. It would be interesting if I just went in straight with the pen instead of a pencil, but I'm kind of afraid to do that one. So I'll just try to sketch this out. So I want the bottom to be about here. <clears throat> the top to be here. So that's his antlers. Head. I'll just try to sketch something here quickly. Hope you guys can hear me. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? Glad to see everybody was chatting and stuff. So, just try to. This one's kind of difficult, but hopefully we can pull it off. Should be able to. Should be able to pull this one off, I hope. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. Okay, I guess. Probably too low. It's hard to tell. <clears throat> Thanks, King B Arts. I appreciate that. I'll do my best. Do my best here. So I'm just trying to separate some of the elements here, like body and neck. I feel like the legs are gonna have to be, go down a lot longer, so I'll just start over. So let's, I guess let's start with the leg. Uh, what do I do, what do I do here? I really wish I could have did a watercolor today because I didn't really want to draw today because we missed that watercolor yesterday because of YouTube. It's weird because Apple had some an outage today too, and my Mac was acting all weird. Everybody's Mac acted weird because Apple had a, some kind of outage. So it's like everyone's just, I don't know, it's very bizarre. So it looks like the legs are the same height as the body, pretty much. So however tall I make this body, the legs need to be about the same. The legs are slightly smaller actually, but. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. I'm just moving the watercolor to. Um, so that Golden Gate Bridge watercolor I was gonna do, I'm moving that to next week. So. I still want to do it, but I didn't really. I just. I, I like the watercolor I have planned tomorrow, so I didn't really. I didn't want to mess up the schedule for this week. So I just. I'll just move the one. One I was gonna do yesterday. I'll do it. Next week. So no big deal. We just gotta. Do what we can, you know.
Yeah, I'm not gonna do watercolor today. I'm just doing. All right, I feel better about this one. Starting to come together, I think. Okay. YouTube brat, uh, what do you have? What do you what do you struggle with when it comes to drawing heads in the Loomis method? What what what's so hard about it? What's so what's what? Where do you what do you find challenging about it? I could just give you random tips, but I'd, I'd rather figure out where what's your, your areas of problem that you need to solve. <clears throat> I don't really have random tips, you know, it's more, I need context. I mean, there's plenty of videos out there on the Loomis method. <clears throat> so I'm just trying, I'm just trying to figure out what you struggle with. Okay, uh, my mind, what's going on right now? Okay, so what I'm doing, I mean, I, I, I'm just breaking it down to simple shapes, you know? So the body and the head and the neck. And right now I'm just, I'm kind of trying to figure out the proportions of the limbs and kind of the angles of the limbs. So I'm just using straight lines and then kind of where the knees are, they kind of have these little circles already anyway on the knees. Uh, so I'm kind of just trying to place those and get it in the right place. So that's all I'm really like thinking about or, or trying to do. But sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm just trying to focus to get this thing done. Um, Cause I, I need to get into the pen and ink, you know? Um, How did I learn drawing? Well, I started drawing as a kid and I just learned through like books and videos and over the years just kept, kept drawing and kept drawing and kept drawing. And, you know, I, th I think that's, that's really what it comes down to is just putting in the mileage of the paper, you know. Yeah, 
something's off here with the legs. It's always hard. But not as good as me. I don't know what the, I don't know what you're referring to. But uh, first, YouTube brat says firstly the oval sh that shapes. Firstly, the oval that shapes the cranium most of the time, and I don't know how to apply features to the cranium. Um, uh, well, you have a problem with the oval shape of the cranium? I mean, maybe you shouldn't draw it as an oval then. Maybe you should use, see, this is where, this is where using one particular method sometimes can, is not good. Um, so for me, like the, this particular drawing here, sometimes I use curves and then other times I use straight lines. So maybe if you're having trouble with the oval or whatever, or like a cranium of the head. Um, so, bro, why are you, Sovereign, why are you even comparing? I haven't even like finished this thing. I've been drawing for like 10 minutes. You're probably just a little kid. What, were you born in 2011? Is that why your thing's 2011? Um, nothing against young kids. It's just like, you know, it's funny. But, um, uh, so instead of drawing like an oval for the cranium, you should try drawing it with straight lines. I know it sounds weird, but sometimes if you just break down, see, watch this. Like, if you break down a shape in the straight lines, you can make it curved by cutting the corners off. See what I'm saying? So the more lines you keep adding, straight lines, you, you'll end up getting this rounded shape. So m maybe start, try to incorporate more straight lines into your, your drawing at first. You know, I kind of did that with the face here. You know, I kind of just, I got the whole angle. I was trying to get the angle of the of the head. Even though the head, there's these little, you know, those features and things that dip in and out. Um, you know, you just get the overall angles first and then create the curves from that. Because curves, it's very easy to like, or it's very easy to lose control of the curves, basically. But anyway, I hope that's helpful. I mean, I, I think just try to learn some different methods instead of the Loomis method, because obviously if it doesn't work for you, then you need to try a different method of drawing portraits. Um, try something else, like don't do the Loomis method. Try to find, keep trying different uh, methods until you find one that works for you. And it may be, it may be a mixture of methods. So. Hope that's helpful. It may end up being a mixture of methods. I think that's what my drawings pretty much are. They're just a mixture of methods. problem folks I'm glad it was helpful you know what I, one thing I've learned is like with drawing and art a lot of the times a, a lot of the times not not 100% of the time nothing's 100% of the time but I find a lot of the times people have issues with their art or they're trying to figure out how to do something or just creating art in general. Most people are like afraid to start creating art. Most of the problems have nothing to do with like actual techniques of art. A lot of it is like people don't actually know how to learn. Uh, See, so yeah, I have a big gap here where it's not supposed to be. So I think maybe the body's too wide, but yeah, the body's definitely too wide, but I'm just going to roll with it. There's nothing, I don't want to have to I'm not gonna redo it now. I'm just gonna stick with it. So mine is a little more turned than it should be, basically. 
But most people just have a problem. They don't know, they don't, they never learned how to actually learn. I know it sounds weird, but, um, and I'm not saying that's anyone's problem here. I just, I just see that a lot. You know, people get afraid or they're afraid to, they don't even create anything because they're too afraid to even try because they're afraid of failure or something or whatever that even means. You know, it, it, a lot of the stuff, it's, it's, it's not something that lacking ability, it's just, it, it's a mental block. You know, a lot of stuff, it's all mental. It's not even like physically problems that people have, you know, it's very interesting. Just something I've taken note of over the years, you know, a lot of the stuff, it's so mental has nothing to do with the art. A lot of times it has to do with the individual and their mindset. You know, mindset is huge, you know. So, not the greatest thing, but you know what? At this point, I don't really care. We'll just keep keep rolling with it. You know, the legs look a little weird. Something's off, but what am I going to do? Uh, I could fix it all, but you know what? Just not feeling it today. Sometimes you just want to keep pressing on and uh, just want to get this thing done with right now. Just want to get to the pen, pen and ink part. But I think it's probably pretty good. I mean, just got to take note of the transition of between light to dark here. But let's get to the pen. It's just I'm gonna I'm gonna open this brand new pack of pins, courtesy of my mom. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, mom, for these pins. Now I can create some good art. Okay. Just block this in quickly, or block it in, line it in. I don't know what you call it. Just wait till he adds the fur. Yeah, I'm gonna actually, I got some cat fur laying around here. I'm just gonna glue that on. drawn an elk before. Have I drawn an elk before? Anybody remember? I don't think I have. I've drawn a moose. I've drawn a horse. Um, I don't think I've drawn a deer. Yeah, I think this is kind of the first kind of deer elk like thing drawn. That <clears throat> poor kitty. Well, she sheds everywhere, so. Got a whole collection of her fur somewhere. Probably if I just sweep my floors, probably find a whole bunch. But who does that? Who sweeps their floor? Not me. Maybe once, twice a month or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, folks. I don't do it that often. 
Uh, okay. Thanks, King B. Take it easy. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in, as always. Glad to see you here. It still always amazes me that Every time I do a live stream like this, I know it's going to sound stupid, but we always start out with a blank sheet of paper. You know what I mean? It's it's just so cool how in just an hour or two, you end up with something that, you know, it's not a blank sheet of paper anymore. It's pretty It's pretty crazy when you think about it. The amount of times I've done this already. Yeah, it's just very interesting to think about. I guess I can zoom it in a bit for you guys. So I've been thinking about how to shade this one. You know, something I haven't done in a while, I feel like I haven't done it in a while. I'm just gonna do straight lines. Cause I, I feel like I wanna try to do that again. My vertical, my vertical line method. We'll see what see what it ends up looking like if it sucks or whatever, but Something I haven't done in a while. You know, I might be able to, I could probably put some directional lines for fur and stuff like that, but just this whole shadow part, just try to have, make it look flat and just use the value to delineate the forms and all that kind of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You guys get the idea. Okay. Mm. How am I brave to use non-erasable pens? I mean, isn't that the whole point of ink drawings? <laughs> I feel like that's the whole point. Like I, you know, it's, it makes me more, it makes me accept my mistakes more. You know, it does, it does a lot for me mentally, you know? Cause sometimes they, they suck. Sometimes it's like a horrible drawing, but what are you gonna do? You have to just keep you have to accept it, you know. It's a good life lesson. There's no uh, control Z, command Z, you know what I mean? Edit undo. There's no edit undo in this, in life, for the most part. Yeah, I like the vertical lines on this one. I think it's gonna look cool. Feeling good about this one, I think. I say that every time and then sometimes they, they suck, but I kind of do feel good <sighs> about this one, maybe. Hopefully, I just need to finish it. Guess we're getting late here, folks, already. Already late. A 
Yeah, there's going to be a lot of shading. A lot of shading here. But we got some nice light, too, as well. On this elk. So that's how I'm going to do the shading for the whole thing. Yeah, I agree, Philip. I really agree. I don't like that it gets so dark early either. I think we should stay in, in daylight saving time forever. Like, what, why go back to normal time? Like, what, like who... Like, it doesn't do us any good. Because now we all have to turn our lights on and everything an hour earlier. We're not saving any money by going back to normal time. It's so dumb. Uh, like, uh, what do we need to be in normal time for? Like, don't we control the time? Don't humans control the time? So why do we have something that sucks? Like, humans are so dumb, dude. Like, why? Like we're in control of this, and we're like, well, it's just the way it is. Like, no. It's like, just do it. Just change it. How hard is it? You know? Like, it's just ridiculous. It's funny because, like, at one point, humans we like we think we're the best thing ever, the greatest thing on planet Earth, and like, and then we we don't even do anything. We just like. Sorry, folks, I'm ranting today, but it's just it's just uh, yeah, it really sucks because like when I used to go into the office last year, I mean, it would be dark before I even got off work. Like, I can't do any plain air after work. It's like it's horrible. I don't know. It's just really annoying. It's very frustrating. I mean, I can't... I mean, obviously, in places, it's not really going to matter the more north you go, like, you know, Alaska and stuff like that. But at least down here, where we are, like, just, just don't change the time anymore. Like, change it in the spring and then leave it. Let's Let's do an hour forward and just leave it. But anyway. Yeah, I agree. It's just silly, man. It's just annoying. It's very annoying. I think Florida, I think Florida proposed, I don't know, like last year or something, some year they proposed to stay in daylight savings time all year round. I was like, man, why don't we all propose that? Like, that should be, every state should be proposing that thing. But I think Arizona, they don't even change time at all. They stay in normal time all the time, I think. But, yeah. Interesting, interesting world, you know. Okay, we're making good progress here. I like how this is going. I don't know if I'm going to go really dark. I think I'm just, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. You guys see what I'm doing here for any new folks? So it probably looks a little bizarre the way I'm shading this because I'm making it look flat, but it's only going to look flat right now. Um, I may need to go one more layer of darkness. So I'm just using the value to make it curve, look curved. So what that means is like I'm not going with the form of the elk. We're just going with vertical lines and it's kind of challenging because you have to focus on where it's lighter and where it's darker you have to focus only on the value I really like this new pin feels really good I haven't used a new pin in so long 
the other ones are all just getting really old. And the lines on these come out really nice. I like this. So this area, it's like a little more dark, darker. So like I can just put more lines to dark and make it darker. Other places I can, sp I'll start spacing the lines out more. To kind of transition the value. Like I said, I don't know if it was going to look good with this particular subject, but I'm going to try it. Just give it a shot. So as it, it gets lighter as it goes up, so I'm going to start putting less lines, kind of start spacing them. Spacing them out a bit more. Something like that. But yeah, I may need to go a bit darker. I kind of went a little too dark here, so that spot kind of sticks out. But it's alright, we'll just do we'll just we'll do one overall value first. So the more you put down, the more it looks, you know, it kind of starts coming together, you know, the more you put, put down. It's hard to, it's kind of, sometimes it's hard to judge something when it's unfinished, you know. Yeah, I saved the lives. You can always watch them. Um, So I'm just trying to make a smooth transition there as it starts curving up. Um, I was I was wondering if I should add some white pen to this one or do I keep it just the tone of the paper? I feel like I'm gonna have to add some white pen, make it really pop probably, and then we'll leave some of it the tone of the paper where it's a bit darker. We'll just add the highlight areas, right? Probably. Okay. I agree. Glad we all agree.
Alright, let's add the white. Well, let's do some we'll do some grass. You guys know I like always like putting that in. And we'll put a shadow underneath it so that the kind of looks a little more realistic. It'll ground them, ground the animal. I'll add some lighter grass too eventually when I do the white pin. I'm just trying to darken it like underneath so it just gives the illusion that shadow where this thing's standing in this grass. <clears throat> Thanks King B. Glad you're able to make it back. So, I know it looks a little chaotic, but it kind of has to, you know, it's kind of trying to make it look natural, so. All right. Well, this white pin's pretty bright, but hopefully it'll look okay. I'll try to restrict it just to the highlight areas. Try to fade it out.
Oh boy, I'm not really sure. I guess I just... <clears throat> it's going all right, I guess. Getting close to being finished here. Just wrapping it up pretty much. Um, you know, I feel like this one, I feel like we don't even need a background or anything. I feel like we got this nice foreground, we got the white on here, it looks pretty good. Um, Mm, not perfect, but uh, what's what's perfect anyway, you know. Nothing, nothing's perfect.
back to the black pen. So here we do. Here we go. Yeah, I do read the chat, Jeffrey. I do. And I answer questions and stuff too if you have any. So I'm just going back to the black pen and what I'm doing is just putting some black over the top of the white so that there is so it doesn't look like all the white is just on top, you know, just we're just something like that. <clears throat> pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that one, I think. Um, you know, the other thing I can do, I can just, we can add just a little more darkness here, possibly. Yeah, I don't want to get too crazy with the dark, because it'll take me forever to go over everything again. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it doesn't match the photo exactly with the, obviously the proportions and stuff and the value. But I think we have a good representation here of what I wanted to capture which is this little elk buddy. We'll bring back some stuff on his fur over here, possibly. Just doing a little bit of textural stuff there, kind of going against the lines that I did. Just playing around, you know, I don't know if, if it works or not, but we'll just, just try it. Can't hurt, you know.
we go. How about that? Something like that. Anyway. Anyway, folks, uh, I think I'm pretty much done here. Um, so, of course, I forgot to mention the whole time I'm on here, like I always do. Be sure to check out my website, shaperfineart.com. Kind of slipped my mind today. Always forget about that one. So, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, also, be sure to check out my website. You can see other drawings like this one. Probably some that are better than this one. And uh, some paintings as well that I do. And check out my website, shaperfineart.com. You'll see paintings, drawings, all kinds of stuff. I also have a support page where you can donate to me and support me. And check out my music, all that kind of stuff too. So, definitely check all that out. I think this one came out pretty well today. You know, not the greatest thing ever, but better than nothing, right? Um, so I think in the end we got a nice mixture of values there, a lot of stuff going on down here. Maybe I can darken some of the shadow down here to try to bring that out a little bit more. Maybe too much, but there we go. I think that kind of helps just a little bit and you know we can just we'll add some white a little bit of white over top of that just to a little more depth but still have that nice dark underneath there <clears throat> anyway folks um thanks for tuning in uh tomorrow we got a real i'm, I'm really excited about the watercolor tomorrow hopefully so should be a cool one uh anyway folks here's the drawing from today. Uh, this one will be up on my website later on for sale if you'd like it. I sell them for $65. So uh, all the paintings, all the drawings, $65. Like I said, you can check all that out on my website, shaverfineart.com. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the watercolor. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. Um, sorry I was late today. Tomorrow, hopefully I won't be late, and we'll have a lot of fun tomorrow with that watercolor. Check out your subscriptions page to see what I'll be painting tomorrow and at what time. So definitely check that out on your YouTube subscriptions page. It's already scheduled. Go check it out. Um, see you tomorrow.